past several months, we've seen the cost of food soar with inflation. In the second story of our series on how to save money at home, we're looking at ways to possibly contain growing grocery bills. I started my business more full-time in 2021, January, and compared to now, it's double, like everything, like double. Chef Noel Cunningham has been cooking in the GTA for years now, but as he works to keep building his catering and restaurant businesses, it hasn't been easy as of late. The customers, they don't oftentimes understand because they're expecting, you know, the same or the same quality for the same price that we were paying maybe two, three years ago, and it's different. Cunningham has cut down on combo offerings, charging extra for sides, a choice he's had to make to not sacrifice on quality and authenticity. Especially for me who do lots of Jamaican food, the ingredients is much even higher because of the import. To help stretch dollars, Cunningham is buying in bulk and working more than ever to minimize food waste. He points to examples we all can do. I like wraps for lunch. It's, it's like it's easy to have some lettuce in the fridge, some tomato, you have some grilled chicken maybe from leftovers. So you can also use um, leftovers in your omelette. You can make some frittata, pineapple skin. So we boil those pineapple skins. So for example, we're making a pineapple drink. You boil that skin with the ginger and stuff and then you blend that now. Dietitians have also been noticing the jump in food costs. Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center staff put out tips, encouraging people to shop smart and don't go hungry to avoid impulse buys. Once in the store, they suggested doing things like looking at unit pricing to see if there are better economies of scale. Review weekly flyers in print or through apps. Stock up on staples such as broths and beans when possible. Use frozen produce to help get extra nutrients. And try planning three to five recipes a week using in-season produce while possibly batch cooking. We have seen an incredible uptick in demand for what we offer. Food insecurity is really real. It is skyrocketing in Toronto. Rachel Listener heads up Not Far From The Tree, an urban fruit tree picking nonprofit. For $10, volunteer members can have access to a large network of fruit if you're willing to go to a Toronto home and gather it. We uh, donate one third to the person whose tree it is one-third to our volunteers who picked the fruit, and one-third goes to one of our agency partners. Listener says each year, you can get things like fresh cherries, plums, peaches, apples, pears, and grapes. This is something that uh, we love sharing with everybody, and, you know, like, it's a big city. There's lots of abundance. Meanwhile, for more ways you can save when it comes to food, head to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.